Morning. I am spending the day with my mom today. We're gonna go through to a small craft market, I think. It is sort of relatively near here, maybe like a 20 minute drive. And then I'm thinking that Vaughn's probably gonna meet me at the mall after he goes to, cause he's going to see his grandparents, I'm going to see my mom. So my mom's picking me up and then we're going through and so Vaughn will have the car. So I'm thinking maybe he can meet me at the mall because they also have, um, the mall is nearby the gift market. They also have a craft market there and I really want to try and get a fair amount of the presents done for the people that I know specifically what I'm getting them. Like I know what I'm getting my nieces. I know what I'm getting, what I need to top up for um, Vaughn's mum for Christmas. Like I, I've got ideas that I want to get before stock is low or like it's difficult to find and I've set up something else. And I obviously need to try not to buy more Christmas decorations while I'm out, which will be tricky because I don't know where ours are. So I'm so tempted just to like start again, but I can't. We have so many. Bar a few H&M uh, cushion covers. I might get those because they're really not badly priced and we have more cushions this year than last year because we're in a different house. Anyway, uh, so that is the plan for today and I will take you along for that. I don't know what movie is tonight because I don't know if we're doing the like guest thing, but there is also a carols by candlelight in our area ish again like 10 minutes 15 minutes away the only thing is that cape town can get really windy and tonight is supposed to be super super windy so i'm not convinced we'll go i think we'll rather do hello okay someone just parked outside our house and i was like mm, that's weird not expecting anyone except my mom and she would park in the right place yeah um so i don't know if we'll do the carols we'll have to see I need to find the Christmas decorations ASAP. Um, but Kazai is here on Tuesday and I know she knows where they are because she uh, recently sorted out a lot of the garage for us. So I might just have to be patient. Anyway, again, welcome to my brain unfiltered. We're just waffling. <laughs> Um, it's after six o'clock at the moment. Ten past seven, maybe? We landed up being at the mall until pretty much the shops closed. So I also didn't take out my camera much because I felt awkward, basically. And I thought I would do a haul of what I got today, do the market and the shops, show you both. So the first thing is quite gimmicky. And it's an ice cube maker but you can also use it as like an ice bucket. So you put water in the outside and then it makes those tiny little ice ball things. And then you can put those around your drink or you can leave that outside part frozen. On the box, they have someone <laughs> keeping ice cream cold. It looked cool, thought I'd give it a shot. It wasn't very expensive. So that's from the market. I wanna show you this, just get this charm out. She had tied this little Christmas charm. So cute. I need to find a little gold necklace to put it on or attach it to my silver one that I need to put back on now that I'm done traveling. Just have them together. And it is French Pear. Small business just started in 2022. The top is like that. And then this is one of those wood wicks. So it should crackle when you light it. And that was really not badly priced considering it's 
like the lady just started and she does it all herself. They're not that exciting, but I got a frozen coloring book with stickers for one of my nieces because it's, it's very cute. She loves Anna, thanks to me. And it's a nice little addition and it's something that is constructive. Gosh, I sound like, I sound like my mom. <laughs> These are very cool. Also the market. They are self laminating cards. So basically what you do is you print a Christmas photo and then you can slot it in. And there's a thing, there's like a little piece of adhesive that you lift that you lift on the side here and stick it back down. So then you have a photo Christmas card. It's very, very cute. I must admit, we've never taken a family Christmas photo. Vaughn, myself and the cats. Vaughn, do you wanna do a Christmas photo shoot? <laughs> I don't know, but I bought cards to put pictures in. Like a photo shoot? No, like a, like a home. Uh, with the fine. cats, like a fan, yeah. like we can do one of those, like you know how people do with their kids, but we do it with our cats. We can do that. Because I got these. Or we can try and do that. Yeah, that's oh, the thing. Okay. And also how to decorate the cats, like. Decorate the cats, Shane. No, I mean like they don't, these aren't cats that you can put like a top on or like oh, ears. No, they, will us. they will definitely not be happy. So I scratched something here, just ignore it. It's not a bruise, it's a itchy spot. Okay, so anyway tangent uh what else was from the market oh a christmas dress i'm not gonna put it on now i'm sorry i've put it on twice today already to show people but it is so obviously we live in cape town it's hot we can't wear christmas sweaters there's never christmas clothes that are summery this is actually a kid's dress i don't care it's a maxi dress and it's got Little Christmas owls. Very, very cute. Also very well priced for handmade. Like, I think it's handmade. There's a good chance she bought it cheaply and resold it, but it looks, it looks like it's just been stitched. There's no like care label or anything at all. And this is also, I know that I paid more for this than I should have, but it was a small business. This is a Christmas apron. It looks like that. And I'm hosting this year. For the first time ever, I've never hosted a Christmas in my young 33 years. So I'm going all out. The same candle business that I got that one from gave me two wax melts to try. These are just free samples. This is Champagne Rose and this is French Pear, which is the same as the candle, but to use in the diffuser. I think that's the end of the market. Oh no, I got a lot of Christmas cookies. Vaughn's got one in his belly already. Did you eat the cookie? Which one? The big one. Yeah. And bar one fudge. So bar one's kind of like Mars bar, but a lot better. It's got more caramel in it. Yeah. If you happen to be watching from Australia and you get a bar one there, it's not the same. Don't let them tell you it's the same. It does not taste the same. Okay, so these are... Let me just tilt the camera and the box at the same time. Little gingerbread cookie decorations with red strings so you can hang them on the tree. Here's the thing I realized. I so this year I'm not I'm not buying wrapping paper. I will be painting my own, making my own and doing some kind of like very organic looking I don't know, string like what I did for Jess's birthday. If you go back to the Somerset weekend, it'll be like that but for Christmas. So my original idea was to tie these onto the gifts, but then they're gonna get dirty. And my mom suggested I put them in plastic bags, like sandwich bags, but I don't wanna be using plastic. So, and not for any like moral high ground, just for myself. <laughs> so I'm a little bit lost as to what I'm gonna do now, but they're very pretty. They smell like grandparents' house. That's the level of gingerbread that they smell like. Okay, and then from the mall, because I'm hosting, I want it to be like one of those Christmases where people are like, oh my gosh, that's so fun, I wanna do Christmas again then next year. This is inflatable antler hoop game. So you blow up the antler and you blow up the hoops 
And then you gotta land the hoops on the antler. Very fun. And cheap as chips. <laughs> Festive trivia. Chips in South Africa, not chips overseas. Yeah, chips overseas are not cheap. <laughs> Festive trivia quiz, which you said should be called? Quizmas. Quizmas. So we're gonna try have Quizmas with our uh, friends. Quizmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually made in, oh, made in China for SA Greetings, South Africa. I got excited for a second there. Amazing. Yeah, these are both from the same company, which is SA Greetings, which is essentially our hallmark. So those look very fun. Um, tote bag from Cotton On, which is part of the Cotton On Foundation. Basically, if you buy, when you buy Cotton On, you can get a tote for 60 Randish, and then all the proceeds go to the... Cotton on foundation. They've got a thing that says scan your impact if you wanted to see. Anyway, I just I thought the bag was super pretty. Um, five or six packs of these, not sure. Semi blacked out, took everything that was there. Already 90% through one of them. If you live overseas and you would like to gift me with Haribo baller sticks, <laughs> then they had these candles, which are clearly not selling very well because they were. They were on, they were supposed to be 170 and it was 60. So US, they were supposed to be 15 US. They were about four. Wait, Vaughn, I want to show you this glass. It's a very candle-ish kind of day. Ugh. It says, I'm more than a candle. Use me as your next pot plant, vase, jewelry, holder, or get creative. I actually, the, the scent that I wanted, they didn't have any more of, but this glass, I might actually go back for the green one as well. So yeah, it's like holographic. Holographic? Isn't that when someone like comes up? Hologram. Holographic is when it's like shiny like that, I guess. So this is holographic. It's I need like to go get other colors. I really like this. <laughs> and like imagine as a plant thing, if you could see the roots through the bendy parts and then like there's four colors if you had all of them and like four different plants so pretty and then this is not really christmas this is just necessity some firkin stocks i got black and i got white and they were weird they don't actually have the usd on them this time 279 rand oh i found it i think it's 26 us dollars so yeah they're very comfy i can't wear the ones with the what are the, I think they're called, I don't think they're called flip-flops at rails. Thongs. <laughs> Can't wear thongs. <laughs> they make my feet, my ankles hurt. So I'm back on these Firkin stocks now. And that concludes the haul. I think I actually got some really cool stuff, really different. And not surprisingly, this is probably my favorite. All right. Well, um, I don't know what the movie is for today. We'll figure it out. Either I will continue a little bit into the evening or I will see you tomorrow. Time will tell. age a mammoth christmas and i'm using the term movie lightly because it was also about 25 minutes i think i would rank it quite far below olaf's christmas because it was a lot more like kiddie-ish there are a few good jokes we laughed a bunch of times but i'd probably give it like a seven out of ten Probably won't watch it again, maybe with a kid if they asked, but I'm not going to rewatch it myself. What's your rating out of 10? Uh, it was funny, it was, it was like silly funny though, like kid funny. So maybe like a 6, 7, 6. Yeah, definitely more kid funny, less like a lot of innuendos that are funny to adults. So like it was light entertainment, but not something I'm going to go and tell 
a lot of grown-ups to watch. Good morning. I'm not gonna say welcome to Vlogmas Day X because I'm still trying to figure out with being sick how we're like navigating the Disney stuff. So I just paused breakfast <laughs> to record this and I don't know why I did that. Today is a work day. I've got work until next week, Tuesday, I think. And obviously now I've been off sick. I've got so much to catch up on. I am going to have a pretty intense, fingers crossed, I really want to get a good focus day done. So I struggle to sleep a little bit. So I have moved my day to be like 10 to 6 rather because I took my tablets only at 9 I think. So I'll work a little bit later this evening. Vaughn's also working a bit later this evening but there's not going to be that much for me to show you. So that's also why I thought like if I can put in some really cool stuff that I recorded before Vlogmas at least it's not just like hey I woke up and I did work today but like I'm not I'm not a full-time YouTuber and to be honest I don't know if I will ever like I enjoy my day job <laughs> I like doing it. So I'll probably most often be working and that will be eight hours of my day. But I will do a couple of time lapses. I'm going to try and, and um, do some organizing and some cleaning and then obviously something this evening. There'll be a movie and something like that. I'll figure it out. I'm in Vaughn's office for this. I just want to show you what I'm wearing today. Um, because it's like active wear meets farm child Avril Lavigne rocker. I don't know, it's absolute chaos, but it's actually really comfy and I feel like it looks kind of like I put it together on purpose, but I did not. tripod and put a time lapse on and I got so in the zone I was writing um I don't know if I've said this before I'm a true crime writer so journalist turned YouTube true crime writer and the story that I was writing I know super well because I was following it like in my personal capacity and I got so in the zone I don't I honestly don't know how long that time lapse is the only reason it ended is because the battery died so I just saw like this flash white light thing on the screen and it said battery exhausted and I was like oh my gosh I didn't even know I was still doing a time-lapse I was so in the zone it's actually gonna be interesting just for me to see like what I do when I'm so focused because I know one thing I do is I like rub my lips a lot and I'll like do this do this I also figured out at some stage that my eyes move around so much like when when I'm reading I'm not reading like I'm going like <laughs> anyway I'm going to swap out this battery it's currently on charge and then I'll show you what I'm having for lunch it is such a beautiful day I might go have it on the hammock and just take a few moments need to dive into another true crime script uh, but a story I know less well, so it's going to take me a little while to get into it. But I am so happy I got so much focus time done. And I hope that if you're still working and you put it on at the same time, that it helped a bit to like get into the zone. Okay, so I swapped batteries. I can't tell if this one is decently charged. But it's got enough for me to just have the whole setup for now. Also, the other day... I was saying, oh, I can't get the height right. 
complete like what's it called object permanence i have a tripod i got a tripod that has a lot of different adjustments so that i didn't have to worry about that but it was under the couch in my office so i completely forgot it existed for lunch i'm gonna have leftover pasta pesto feta and the iciest cold cool drink i can find because it is actually pretty warm on this side of the house in the room it was quite quite chilled but here not so much so that's the plan and i'm gonna have this pasta pesto feta cold like a salad because i don't really like reheating it in one i don't reheat it in the microwave at all i don't feel like dirtying a pan <laughs> so cold like a salad it is i was saying earlier that my leave is from the 13th but i actually mixed up when i put the leave and i didn't put it in properly so i'm gonna work until the 20th and then i'm taking off in january which works better for me because then after vlogmas from christmas until I go back on like the 8th i am just going to take a tech break completely if i vlog it'll be here and there but i just i want to just like decompress try to start the year do any sorting that needs to be done pack the christmas stuff away i think that's like it's actually going to work out better but i also wanted to show you so yesterday when i did the haul i mentioned that i want to try and get like photo shoot photos of the cats and it's really difficult to get them to be where we want them to be but one place that i know that they always sit is here at the entrance let me just show you so they always sit on this chair so i took that tote bag and i mean it's not perfect and then a piece of green pleather and i've just decorated this in such a way that if somebody sits here i can grab a photo of them and it looks christmasy so i switched those out to be green and red and i put the pine cones and mickey um looking at it now mickey actually is not a great spot there because it's reflecting weirdly um they're not a fan of these though I, I might try winchester's fine frank doesn't love it i might just try balance it behind them for the illusion but i think that's quite cool got a little photo shoot set up ready to go so i've been saying i'm going to take you with to sort out the garage but i went into major hyper focus mode and i found the christmas decorations not going to do it tonight though i will probably do it tomorrow evening because it's already 20 past nine i also changed my background to be christmas disney and now we're gonna watch shrek the halls because it's also 28 minutes and we're almost finished with dinner so we needed a quick one tonight again 